It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's schools where we bring together outstanding elementary and middle school students and test their scientific literacy. And we invite you to play along and test your own today. See if you can keep up with these wonderful students playing here today. Today, two outstanding middle schools. Let's meet them right now. Let's go first to Judith P. Hoyer Montessori and say hello to Elisa. You can wave to everybody at home, Elisa. In the captain's seat over there is Justin, a return player. Justin, nice to have you here today. And he's got that bear print on his chest there, as does Roger. Hey, Roger, nice to have you here. First time on our program. They're all gripping that buzzer. They're ready and rare to go. They're playing against Martin Luther King Jr. Anvi is here. Anvi, nice to have you back again. Maria is here too. She has been on our program before. Both new to the program, Juni over there, and he is really anxious to play this game here today. I can tell. Here on the Science Bowl, we have six categories of questions. If you've never seen this before, let's share those categories with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth five and 10. Tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a winner going on to compete perhaps as the third semifinalist in this year's middle school competition. So a lot at stake. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly before we start the questioning. Justin, would you try your buzzer? <coughs> Looks and sounds good. Maria. Try yours, please. All right, it's a group push over there. The green team looks like it's ready to go as well. Good luck, guys. Let's have a great game. J before M, we go alphabetically. So, Justin, let's play that bowl. Go. Um, science, potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. All right, the big one in that category. And here we go. When Russian scientist Ivan Pavlov taught the dogs in his famous experiment to salivate at the sound of a bell, which they'd been associating with food, the behavior was called a conditioned what? Okay, what was your idea there? Learning. Not, not conditioned learning, no. Judith P. Hoyer, uh, Ivan Pavlov taught dogs in an experiment to associate food with the sound of a bell. That association of the food with the bell was a behavior called a conditioned what? It's a reflex, a conditioned reflex is what we wanted. And judges, uh, that was the 25, that was the 20 point question uh, in another category. We'll make that change. All right, we go next to the red team. Justin, go. Um, science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Uh, when termites build tall mounds in Africa, they use this C initial kind of soil, the same one that's used as a tennis court surface in the French Open. Clay, clay. Martin Luther King. Clay. Clay is right. Yes, indeed. Okay, Martin Luther King is on the board. Go. Body systems for 15. Body systems, 15 points, teams. That question is as follows. These P initial parts of your blood that are essential for forming clots, Yes, Platelet. Martin Luther Platelet. King. Platelets. Platelets is right. I was about to say, they sound like they're little dishes. Yeah, you didn't even need that. You were way ahead of me. Go again, green. Um, body systems for 20. Body for 20 points. Although your body is no joke, it does have two parts that are humorous. 
The liquid gels in your eyes are called humors, and the humorous one of these does make you laugh. Judith P. Hoyer. Bones? Yeah, the humorous bone, absolutely right. Thank you, Elisa and Roger, for helping Justin out there. You're on the board. 70 points. Go. Justin. Um, let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. All right. While the Gulf Stream is a warm water current in the Atlantic Ocean, the river of air above the Earth, caused by differences in temperature between the equator and the poles, is known as this stream. <laughs> Martin Luther King. A cold stream? Not a cold stream. That's a good try. Judith P. Hoyer, we've got the Gulf Stream, the river of water in the Atlantic Ocean, but this river of air circulating above us is known as this stream. Wind? No, if you listen to weather reports, they're always talking about the jet stream. The jet stream dips down and brings cold air from Canada. If it goes up, it usually brings warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. No points that time. Advantage is still red. Is that correct? Go, yes. Justin. Um, zoo Parade for 15. Zoo for 15 points. All right. The longest lived mammal is the bowhead whale. It can live 200 years because of the ability to repair this chemical unique to us, whose full name is deoxo. Right. DNA. Judith P. Hoyer. DNA. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, absolutely right. Good. You earned those points. And we have a tie score, 85 all. Let's break that score. That tie. Go, Justin. Green things for 15. Green for 15 points. When fruit matures and is ready to eat, it does this on the vine. Martin Luther King. Um, ripens. What's got? Ripens. It ripens. It does indeed. Good, good. Group think over there. Go green. Um, zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. All right. Listen to this, it's kind of fun. A zoo in Houston has taught its elephants to practice yoga. They seem to like it. It's proving very helpful for those animals suffering from this A initialed condition. Yes, Judith P. Hoyer. Arthritis. Arthritis is right. Thank you, Elisa. Good answer there. Good. Go. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. When the daily pollen count is issued, if you're suffering from allergies, that's very important. That count is for mold spores and for the pollen of three groups of plants, grasses, trees, and these unloved plants. Judith P. Hoyer. Weeds? Weeds, absolutely right. Weed pollen is out there too. Ragweed is the worst. Nice playing. Go red. Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. For the first time, the swirling winds of a cyclone have been seen on this planet, the seventh from the sun. Martin Luther King. Uranus. Uranus. Uranus it is indeed. And that buzzer sounding says we've come to the end of the first round. Now look at this score. It's almost a dead heat. Judith P. Hoyer, 125. Martin Luther King, 115. Lots more signs will straight ahead. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Before we ask any more science questions, a few personal ones of our players I was saying at the top of the show. Some of these students have been here before and boy does it show. They've got the experience. They are coming up with all these answers, more of those kinds of questions. Let's go first to Judith P. Hoyer and Justin. Tell us a little bit about your school. It's a Montessori school. Uh, who's your wonderful principal? She's here today. Um, Miss Spivey is our principal and our coach today is Miss Hunter. Very good, and I know they're very proud of all of you here. Do you have any alternates on your team? I know you do. Can you give me their first names? Dylan, Comfort, and Aaron. Wonderful. They're an important part of this team, and they will be out here for some face time at the end of the show. You are a Montessori school. Tell people who might not know what that is. What is it? Montessori means that from K, K to fifth grade, you get to use different materials that other comprehensive schools might not be able to. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, yeah, you have a very privileged kind of education there. Tell us something about the school you really love, you like to brag about. Um, you well, like going there, I can tell. What do you like about it? 
I like, I like our principal because he's very nice. Isn't she great? Yeah. She's got so much energy. She cares about each and every one of you. And uh, she's just, she's remarkable, as, as are you guys. Uh, what do you want to do someday, Justin? Um, I'm not sure what I want to be someday, but I know that I want to go to Eleanor Roosevelt High School. Good choice. I'll be lucky to get you, Justin. And Roger, how about you? Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to watch the NFL and play soccer. Yeah, you're a Commanders fan, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You like to play soccer, so you're an athlete. Why'd you want to be on the Science Bowl? Because um, of past shows, like, they look kind of fun. And because of like game shows, it kind of inspired me well, to like. You're, you're doing a nice job here. I can tell that you picked up some pointers as you were watching. Someday, profession? Yeah, I want to be a professional soccer athlete. Wonderful. I know you'll be successful. Alisa, you come up with so many. How do you know so much science? Because you do. <laughs> um, well, we do a lot of practice, and well, science was one of my favorite classes throughout um, elementary. So I've learned in a lot. The right from place that. here, and I know you like to swim. Yeah. And you're a baker and a mm -hmm. cook. And what do you like to cook? Uh, I usually like, I think my favorite cuisine to make is probably Italian. It's very yeah. fun oh. to make. Absolutely. You know, you can't go wrong in an Italian restaurant. Yeah. Nice to have you on the show today. Martin Luther King, nice to have you guys here. And Maria, tell us a little bit about MLK, one of the winningest schools in Science Bowl history in our 38 years here. Tell us about it. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Robin Prince. Oh, she's just terrific, too. And she's a science person at heart, too. I know that. And your, your coach is? The amazing Miss Butler. The amazing Miss Butler. We've been on this show, as I said, 30 plus years. And I think she has been coming here all those years. And she never fails to bring us outstanding teams as that Hall of Fame testifies. Uh, alternates on your team? No, you're just it. Yeah, they said, hey, we got the best. We don't need anybody else. What do you like best about your school? I like our teachers. I think they give a great education to everyone. We have so many opportunities for students mm -hmm. with different backgrounds, and I really love that. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, schools are all about opportunities, like this. You never know what's going to make a difference in your life. You know, you put it out there. That's our job as adults. Uh, Someday, what do you want to do? I want to work in the medical field, um, be a pediatric orthodontist. Yes. Well, I'm sure you're going to be successful. And Anvi, you want to be a pediatrician, yes, and you want to go to Johns Hopkins up there in Boston. Why did you pick that school? I've heard it's really good for the medical field, and that's what I've been interested in, so yeah. I like that school. Oh, that, yeah, you chose very well. What do you do in your spare time? I like to learn about science and spend time with family and also play tennis. That's wonderful. You have a great stage presence. I like your energy here today. All of you seem to have that. And Jenna, you were saying earlier how much you love berries. You're a berry guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All, have you always loved berries? Mm -hmm. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. I like that. Well, you know, nutritionists tell us that you know that is great for your health. You have blueberries especially. Tell us why you wanted to be on the show. I saw this show before. I watched it in my sixth grade class. I'm like, Hmm, this looks fun. I would like to do this. And here you are. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Are you having fun so far? I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, you're doing a nice job, too. What do you want to do someday? Uh, I would like to be a bi biologist. A biologist. Well, this is a, a good stepping stone to an eventual career like that. Good to have you here. Let's get back into the game. Last correct answer came from the green team. Uh, and our score, just 10 points separates both of you here. Uh, Maria, go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25, the big one in that category. Former New York Yankee Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod to the end people, revealed recently that he has gingivitis, a periodontal disease that affects this G initial part of gums, your body. Gums, gums. Gums. Martin Luther King. The gums. The gums, that's right, yes. Yeah, gum health is very important. You can have perfect teeth, but your gums, if they get diseased, you're, you're going to lose those teeth. Go, good answer. Um, green things for 25? Green things for 25 points. Listen carefully. The circular bending movement of plant stems and leaves, they kind of twist, it's called circumnucating, resembles what structure that forms the DNA molecule? Judith P. Hoyer. Spiral. Uh, give me a, another name. They said spiral. Mm, Martin Luther King. The right. DNA Helix. structure Helix. is Helix. reflected Helix. in this Helix. circular Helix. bending Helix. movement that stems and leaves make. Helix. Helix, that's right. The helix, the double helix. I knew you guys knew that one, though. All right, you get points go to the green team. Go, King. Let's get physical for 25. 
Physical for 25 points. All right, put on your thinking caps, it's a five-part five answer. With the discovery of the element phosphorus in the ocean beneath the crust of Saturn's moon Enceladus, all six of the chemicals needed for life exist there. The acronym CHNOPS, C-H-N-O-P-S, spells out the six chemicals, including the P for phosphorus. Can you tell me what C, H, N, O, and S stand for? Carbon. All right. C-H-N-O-N-S. King's going to do it. Talk among yourselves just Carbon, in case they have to come to you. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. S? Did it say S? Sulfur. Okay. Carbon, mm -hmm. hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur. You got them all, all right, with the P in there, the phosphorus. All right, you made it look easy. Got yourself 25 points. Nicely done. Go, King. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Some of you may remember that tragic story when the submersible was down there looking for the Titanic. The submersible that went looking for that Titanic ocean liner on the floor of the ocean was appropriately named Titan, and it was made of what lightweight, strong metal? Carbon. Do the P. Hoyer. Carbon fiber. Mm, that's not what we're Tit looking for here. Martin Luther King. Huh? Titanium? Titanium? Titanium, titanium. All the titans going on in there. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Green. The science potpourri for 15? Potpourri for 15 points. These kinds of batteries found in e-bikes and laptops and phones have been bursting into flame recently while being recharged. What kind of battery are we talking about here? Iodine. Hmm? Say it again. Iodine. I don't know. No. Martin Luther King, do you know the kinds of batteries in your phones and in your laptops Electric that have been bursting into flame recently, especially Electric. when they're being recharged? It's so it's so it's These so are lithium cold. batteries. Lithium batteries is what I was looking for. Go again, Green. You choose. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Here you go. Multiple choice. If a person has developed cataracts, Will they have difficulty seeing, hearing, or digesting seeing. food? Seeing. Say? Seeing. Seeing is correct. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. An earthquake is overdue in California since it's been over 300 years since it was moving on the San Andreas what? Martin Luther King. Gulf. Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast, I guess. Gulf. Not gold, no. The San Andreas, what? There's been no movement on that for over 300 years, so an earthquake, a big one, is overdue in California. The San Andreas, what, Justin? Plate. Fault. Fault. The fault line's there. Go again, please. Green. A zoo parade for 10? Zoo parade. 10 points. During one of her concerts, Taylor Swift swallowed a fly that had flown into her mouth. She suffered no ill effects. Because as scientists like to say, insects are good packets of what food nutrient? Protein. Martin Luther King. Protein. Yeah, they're little packets of protein. Flies. I don't know. Okay. Go. She was a trooper. Dateline science for 10. Dateline, 10 points. Here we go. A mud sample. It's a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please, for this dateline question for 10 points. A mud sample from an ancient lake in Canada showed that pollen from these famous three-lettered shade trees disappeared when the trees came down with disease. Oak. Not oak. Good try. That is a three-lettered one. The pollen from this tree was found in that mud sample. These trees came down with the disease and virtually vanished from North America. Elm. 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 Junie, thank you very much. Good assist there. It is the elm tree. Good. Go. Green. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Question is as follows. A deficiency of this vitamin, sometimes called the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D. Martin Luther King. Vitamin D. Say it again. Vitamin D. Not E, no. We said D. Judith D. Hoyer. Like dog. Did you say D? Dog. She said D. Very good. D? We, that's absolutely right. Sorry about that. Go green. Green things for 10? Zoo for 10? Green. Green for 10. Green for 10. Germanium is a chemical element on the periodic table. Well, a geranium is one of these. Flower. Martin Luther King? It's a flower. It's a flower. It sure is. Yeah, it's a green thing. Good. Go green. Uh, Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. The ENIAC, E-N-I-A-C, which was the size of a room, 
was the first of these digital devices that we now carry around and often balance on our laps. Laptop. Computer. Computer, absolutely. The ENIAC was the very first computer. It was the size of a room. Imagine that. Good. Green. Thank you, Journey, for your help. Let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. Let's look at a picture. What a picture. The newest NBA phenom, Victor Wembanyama, stands seven feet four inches tall. He's from Paris. Since he's French, where height is measured metrically, Seven feet four inches is equal to 2.3 meters, 4.1 meters, or 5.5 meters. Which of those do the P. Hoyer? Um, Take your hand down so I can hear you. B. B, 4.1, not 4.1 meters. 2.3, 4.1, or 5.5 meters? 2.3. 2.3 is correct, yes indeed. <laughs> Good, go green. Body systems for five? Body for five points. Roots are not just found on plants. In your body, hair shafts have roots, as do these, of which you have 34 in your mouth. Teeth. Martin Luther King. Teeth. Your teeth. Your teeth have roots, yes. Don't get a root canal. Yeah, they're mm, kind of tough. All right, go again. Great. Dateline science for 25. Dateline science for 25 points. All right, that question is, um, this is the one we're giving. This is what? It's the right one. Okay, date length for 25 points. Uh, to quickly repair the section of a highway in Philadelphia, you might have remembered it. It was destroyed when a tanker, tuck, uh, tanker truck underneath exploded. Engineers piled up a large recycled amount of this material that is first a disorganized liquid and then becomes a solid. Come on, guys, get your 25 points. Come on, Hoyer. What is cement. that? Cement. Cement. Not cement, not cement. What did they pile up on that road to get that fixed in just two weeks? A substance that is a disorganized liquid, and then it becomes a solid. Glass. Glass. They recycled glass. All right, go again, please. Green. Just a few questions left. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Green things for five? Green things for five points. When a golfer hits a shot and he yells, four, to warn people their ball is in the air. When loggers cut down a tree, their warning is this T-initialed word. Timber. 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 Yes, indeed. Good go. Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25. Big one in that category. In the movie Life of Pi, an Indian boy sets out with a boat full of zoo animals. But the Bengal tiger kills off and eats the zebra, the goat, the orangutan, and this African scavenger known for its spooky laugh. Judith B. Hoyer. Hyena. Hyena is right. Thank you, Elisa. Yes. Okay, come on, Red. Let's get something. Zoo, zoo prayed for five. Zoo prayed for five points. While bees are the major pollinators during the day, pollination's night crew is often these insects, renowned for being attracted to flames. <laughs> Martin Luther King. Can I say it? Yeah. Moth. Moths is right. Yes, indeed. That buzzer has rung. We've come to the end of the game, and it's been a great one. We'll come back with that final tally in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back. Hope you enjoyed today's game. Six outstanding young people here. We do have a scoring change because the Titan Submersible was in fact made of carbon fiber and it should have been made of titanium. We're giving 15 more points to Judith P. Hoyer. Elisa, that was your answer. Our final tally today is Judith P. Hoyer 165, Martin Luther King 280. Round of applause for Martin Luther King, a once champion, maybe a future champion. And Maria, you're back there by the wonderful Elizabeth Butler, who has been here for so many years. Ms. Butler, thank you so much. We will see you in the next game. And Justin, let's have a round of applause for this Jew of the P. Hoyer team. Roger and Elisa, first time you did splendidly here today. Justin, tell us who's back there. Um, Dylan, Aaron, Miss Hunter, Miss Spivey, and Comfort. You got them all. All right, congratulations, and thank you all for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed it, and you join us next time for another edition of the Science Bowl. Until then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye now. <laughs>